So family, back with another download. Hope you are doing well today. Hope your weekend was well. Hope you have started this week um, telling it what it's going to be. <laughs> have you commanded your week? Not just your morning. What do you want this week to be? All right, use your words, chosen ones, so family. Use your words, okay? Life and death is in the power of the tongue. The rest of that scripture says, and they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. Okay, so speak out of your mouth what you want it to be. Our words are very powerful. Okay, so family want to share what Holy Spirit has shared with me on and really all weekend long um, in my time with Holy Spirit. Um, there has been a uh, pervasive message, a repeating message, and I wanted to make sure I recorded this download uh, to share this message with you. What is your heart saying? Mm -hmm. Thank you, Holy Spirit. What is your heart saying? What is the message that your heart is giving you? All right. Are you listening to your head? and trying to logically figure something out or are you allowing your heart to lead you now when we expand into unconditional love we switch okay we switch from being all in our head to being led by our heart all right and before you all get uncomfortable with that statement <laughs> being led by the heart doesn't mean you don't have boundaries all right, doesn't mean you're just aimlessly being led. It means you're being led intelligently. You're being divinely, intelligently, emotionally, intelligently guided. What is your heart saying? What, what, what is the message that is coming from your heart? Our heart is overridden quite a bit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. We override it because we're pulling in our logic. Oh, that's not going to work. It didn't work last time. That's not going to work. Oh, they didn't listen to me last time. They're not going to hear me. Oh, they're not going to forgive me. They're not. Listen, we got all kinds of things going on in our head that are that is going opposite of the heart. And when the spirit is speaking, not speaking to your head, because the head is too logical, but the heart can be a place of, of, of divine messages, of purity, okay, of genuineness. It's how we connect, you know, it, we connect in spirit, but it flows through our heart, all right? There has to be a flow through the heart, all right, in order for you to apply what comes to you from Holy Spirit, all right? You're not just filling it out with your with your spirit. You're filling it out through your heart. So what messages is your heart sending? And what messages are you ignoring? Hmm? <laughs> what excuses are you making for not, not doing what that message is saying or not yielding to that instruction or not opening yourself to um, that opportunity. Just something to think about. Just something to think about. It can be scary being open-hearted, all right? It can, that can be scary. But what's even more scarier is walking around knowing that there is something or a message that is coming through and that you're going to miss an opportunity because your head is making a decision uh, from a, for a message that's coming through your heart. Listen, I love you. want you to love yourself more than me. And I'll see you on the next download. Toodles.